Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So I'm gonna go over with you guys on AMC. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're looking for to have a continuation. And if we do not have a continuation, how exactly I would be playing into this. To the downside, I'm gonna go over exactly how exactly I'm gonna play into every stock to the upside and the downside. I'm gonna go over all this with you guys every single day. And all I ask in return follow this is you smash that like button. And I do welcome you to the Instables room in the description below. I mentioned pre market news before market open every single day. Most breakouts have been pre market news in the open. Any halts worth looking at throughout the day or any major breakout alerts worth looking at throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So let's get into this one. So I'm going to go over AMC with you guys here on the daily chart. A lot of people have been asking if we're going to have a major squeeze here, if we're continuing on up in the market, acting against the market, since we did have a spike with AMC and GME, and then the market did continue on down. Does that signal a possible squeeze? A lot of people have been asking these questions. So I'm going to go over AMC with you guys. What exactly I would be looking for to have a continuation. And if we did continue on down, how exactly I would be shorting this. Now, before I get started, if you happen to be interested in the intraday perspective breakouts, go to instables.com in the description below, and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. Now, jumping into the daily chart with you guys here, as you guys can see, we have been continuing on down, but as you guys can see, we do have higher highs and higher lows. So the question is, are we gonna continue on with this bounce or are we gonna continue on down like we have been? As you guys can see on the daily chart from our previous major breakout point that we broke all the way up to 72.50 from was here at 14.50. And I did mention this one as a swing play here at 14.50 and we still have been holding over 14.50 with our body of the candles here. As you guys can see, we are continuing to bounce, but we are looking to see if we can reclaim the 20 ring average. We do still have our 20 below the 50. We do like how we got back over the 20, but we do need to make sure we do start to curl up here with our 20 and get back over the 50 and consolidate back over the 20 to be a better play here for an intraday perspective breakout. But as far as a swing trade perspective, are we going to continue to bounce here? As you guys can see, we do have our increase in buy pressure. We do have a couple bounces here and we are getting rejected to the upside here. So this is going to be very key level here at about $20.93, $21. I want to see if we can break over 21 with confirmation. And I'll go over exactly what I mean by confirmation. But as you guys can see, we are jumping back over our 20. We are within this 20 to moving average above it and below our $21 level. So we are looking to see if we can jump back over 21 get this 20 ring average to curl back up and get back over the 50 so we can have that continuation that we're looking for. But if we do not get that 20 ring average to continue on up here, then we will be looking for that possible short here. As you guys can see on the Fibonacci lines, we would be exactly here at our 0.382 level. And we would be looking for that short here, in my opinion, if we did continue on down below $18 to $17.18 to our 0.5 level that we are testing on the SPY, looking for a bounce back with. Now, again, these are smaller moves. So the bigger move here would either be to break out above this $21 level that we're looking for, above our previous volume point and our previous buy pressure points that you guys can see, we did have a major spike here on this bounce. And as you guys can see, we do have some volume, but we do have a decrease in volume, which shows that rejection to the upside here at 21. That is exactly why we did not have that major spike. We did not continue on with volume, not only above this previous volume point, but also above multiple other volume points that we've had recently is what we're looking for to make sure we do get that continuation on volume to make sure we do continue on past that rejection that we had to the downside, or else we will continue to get rejected to the upside at $21. So we're looking for that continuation up at 21, or in my opinion, if we're looking for that strong move down, then I would be looking to see if we can get that confirmation at 1450 on that continuation down, probably $15 at this point in time. If we did continue on down at this point in time from $21 and we dropped down below $15, then I would be looking for that increase in sell volume and sell pressure dropping below our previous sell pressure points, possibly this sell pressure point that we had this major spike down from, and we did bounce off of our $21 level from. So either we do drop down below our previous sell pressure points here, and we do continue on down and I do short this, or again, like I said, we're looking for that confirmation above our previous buy pressure points and our previous volume points to break over 21. As you guys can see, we have a major buy pressure point way back here that I'm looking for to have a major spike from. Now we're testing our 20 to $21 range, looking to see if we can bounce back over it. So in my opinion, that would be somewhat of a move from an intraday perspective. But if we're looking for a swing chair perspective, I definitely would be careful here as the market has been very choppy. Making sure we do confirm over specific levels is very key. And especially with this rejection to the downside with multiple bounces, I would want to see if we can reclaim 21 before I did play any swings into AMC, making sure we do get at least some consolidation here from this continuation sell-off that we have been having. So that is what I would be looking for here again, looking for that short either below $15 for that increase in buy pressure, or we do get back over $21 and we do continue on up for a possible smaller intraday gap up, or again, that major breakout level that we're looking for above our consolidation that we had and multiple bounces that we also had here um, at about $30. So 
that is what I'll be looking for. That 30 level is going to be that major breakout point, in my opinion, to get that larger gap up that we're looking for over 30. But the smaller move would be to break over $21 with increases in volume to have this continuation on this bounce. Now, again, I do like AMC and how we are respecting these previous levels and we are respecting the chart overall. We have been, again, we mentioned a descending wedge here that we had. Uh, we did drop down below it and we did continue on down because of that. We had a lot of consolidation. As you guys can see, we had decreases in sell pressure showing us that we are going to continue on down. And sure enough, we have been. But again, we do have our bounce here at 1450 to see if we can get back over 21 and to see if we can get the major breakout at 30 is again, that would be my play to break over 30 rather than 21 to have that major breakout. But I will be intraday playing 21 for a quick play if it does jump over 21 with more confirmation on the one minute and the five minute. Now, again, with that said, if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts, most breakouts have been pre-market news and open. We mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert. But again, all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel, all of you instables that have been coming over from the room, and supporting this channel. I appreciate everyone you guys. Much love to everyone you guys. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help if you find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.